Welcome to Motinest Design. In this project, we are going to create a street light. We want to model a street light from beginning to the end. So let's start. First, you create a plane reference by using polygon primitive plane. Just this across. Okay. Click select. Go back there. Click polygon use cylinder this time around extend it up fine so the, the cylinder you use select move bring it to medium something in the center all right now press f on your keyboard zoom out so what you need to do is to adjust this or you duplicate it say ctrl d on your keyboard so extend it up in your duplicate click on scale then scale it down a bit so you are creating then extend it up now you need that you have you see that you have two layers of what of a lighting pool so click F again to zoom in this pattern now what you need to do is that you use uh, your on the general tools you use your toggle move you drag it down so you are you are you drag this the screen downward the next thing to do is that you create duplicate on this one as well ctrl D extend this pattern this one go up move it up then scale it down okay then increase the size scale it down increase the size scale it down so move it to the top now this is where the light projection will come out from so we're not done yet the next thing to do is to create another element that we extrude that from it so create create use polygon primitive then here we use want to use cube zoom out take this up good so select that on your keyboard click on this uh, for a uh, layer for pattern layout so go to the top layout select move adjust it to a little bit align to this so here you scale scale it down use the asymmetric part layout to do that so move it close to then here on the front one press enter on your keyboard zoom out then take it off now press F let it be close press F drag it closer again closer now we are not done yet what we want to do here is different so you can still scale this one up a bit go to 3d press F scale it up a bit scale scale it like that yes so now press and here you do what you want to add some uh, loop in there so click on uh, edges go to edit mesh mesh use the great insert loop yes click like that so create insert loop again and create insert loop again so now please press ok so press enter go to the front side on that front side press fatex and your fatex what we want to do is to transform this one from just ordinary to something reasonable move it up are you seeing it so leave one fatex with it drag it up again select that one in the middle drag it up so click on for this and drag it up a bit 
so from that press F and say object mode from the object mode you drag to the middle like this okay now for the factors that you did you need something to be done press press fat text again when you select it like that you can rotate them that give you what exactly you need to know so i don't want that aspect that so drag it do the same thing here a little bit of rotate so from there you can drag it up a bit Just want to do some certain unique lighting pool, it's not just common number the one you used to see. You can do whatever you wish for, for yourself. So, this one just move it a little bit backward and drag it down. Good. good. So, as you've done that, you can do this one by taking it up the top. Fine. So here you click say objects. So this object now you can drag them and bring it inside. So we have uh, the one wing side. So we are not going to create the second one until we finish this particular one entirely. So we can use this continuously to finish to generate what we want to do. So that's what we want to do. So you press enter from here face click on face and say edit mesh so you do what extrude in the extrude drag it front a bit click the middle I mean the box take the box there extend this one a bit outside are you seeing it so now what you need to do again is to spread that say extrude again then drag this out are you seeing it so you've done that for that aspect so you turn it let's look at it from the inside see F to focus on it so here you click on mesh again say extrude on your extrude what you need to press is press this and say it will do what Zoom it a bit for you inside. So press S2 again. S2 do the same thing. Drag it a little bit in. So now pull it up a bit. From there you press S2 again. Click S2. So you do the same thing. So here now you drag it out. Are you saying? So here yeah, you again you press S to read. You just scale again. Scale it in a bit. So from here you drag it out. So when you zoom out you see that you have created something independently something like light bulb so press enter to go to so this is what you have done here you will do that what you need to do is to press duplicate you see duplicate it say select when you select go to Top, elevate so, so press D and drag this guy select it say rotate you 
in your rotate to angle 3 degree, angle 90 degree, just click move, drag it, so you press enter, so from here, you can work it out on a general net. So here you have created street lights. So it's not a polished tutorial, but if you what you want to get in terms of what you need to understand, just drag. So that is how to create a light pool. We are not going to add material because we are just doing basic model. Basic modeling. So that is your lighting pool. Feel free to touch. Something like this.